Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. On the last episode, we continued on with Case 4, Turnabout Goodbyes of the first game. Uh, ran into Santa, <laughs> who turned out to be Larry in disguise. Uh, Larry actually told us a lot of information about Edgeworth that I guess that technically Phoenix would have known, but Maya learned for the first time, so we learned for the first time that all three of them used to be in the same class when they were kids, and that Miles wanted to be a defense attorney when he was younger, but you know now is a prosecuting attorney, which is the exact opposite. So what happened there? Also, he told us a little bit about Gordy, the mysterious Loch Ness monster-like person that's inside Gord Lake, and gave us a <laughs> gave us a photo article about it. So on this episode, we are going to be moving over to well, first back to the entrance. We're actually going to go to our office right now. Because we don't really have any leads for anything at this moment. So we're going to head back over to our office and see if we can find any leads. What is it? Oh! Nothing! Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Mia worked at. I met him once when I was there to hang out with Sis. I said when does was, whatever. It still works. <laughs> it worked grammatically. Uh, th that office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him. For old time's sake. Remember I remember last episode I said some familiar faces are gonna be popping up? Well, here's another familiar face. So I guess we didn't get the talk option. Yeah, she's just gonna tell us the same thing. But let's yeah, no, we don't need to check them off. Let's just head straight over there. To Grossberg Law Offices. Ahem. Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You're me as something, are you not? I don't remember what Grossberg sounds like. He now sounds like Yoda for some reason, which <laughs> was not the intention. I was understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you're, you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes! You've grown! Oh god. <laughs> You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. You see. <laughs> like the scent of fresh lemon. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? So, <laughs> hello, Grossberg. It's been a while. That's since case two. So what happened? We're going to be talking to him about that painting. So we have, so the lawyer used to work here. Maybe if we just talked to him about it. Or let's see. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I er, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. But this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. So he doesn't know a single thing. Let's ask him about the painting. Just because it's funny. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Old, rotten, lemon desserts. <laughs> so, yeah, we didn't really learn much about that. We did learn that his paintings never come back home. You might want to paint your wall then, you know, to get rid of that two-tone color right there. 
So what we need to do is we need to present him the autopsy report because the picture is in here. If Mia, if, I mean, if Maya can tell who it is just by looking at the picture and she says he worked here, I'm fairly certain Grossberg should know who it is. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. I sure hope so. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer, here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edwards shot? Ooh, so you do know him then. Um, I mean, he did know him. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Robert Hammond! Who was this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss that they used the spirit medium. Oh, crap, Maya. You just learned about this now. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. Oh, remember back in episode two? Or not episode two. Case two, where the DL6 incident got brought up. Now we're coming full circle. Not only people, not people aren't the only thing coming back. Incidents are coming back. Great. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case, indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fang used her powers to talk to the spirit of the lake victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Yeah, yes, quite. Thank you. Uh, no, please. D don't mention it. <laughs> Ooh, Grossberg's going to have a bunch of sleepless nights now. <laughs> oh, the guilt. TL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait! What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. I lost I lost the Yoda voice. I don't know why. The water. The victim in the DL6 uh, uh, <laughs> The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Ooh. What? what? His father! And the suspense music kicks in. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait! This is a photograph of my mother! And she's crying again! No! And we'll get Misty Face photo added. So now we know who! That mystery photo that we shot, saw in episode uh, case two uh, was Misty Fay, Maya and Mia's mom. Oh, delicious water. So, a lot of things happening right now. Um, we're actually gonna call an episode. Actually, no, we'll do this then. Now that we have this photo, let's go move straight to the detention center. I'll do one quick thing. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? 
It's no concern of yours. I guess he hasn't found anyone yet. So, we're gonna do one quick thing before we call this an episode. And that is simply... Well, let's see if we can do anything with the talking. What happened, Gord Lake? Still, he, he will not tell us anything. He'll probably tell us exactly the same thing he told us before. The only thing that will get him to get on our side is to show him this quick photo. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it. I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you were up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But... I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. So now, he'll actually tell us anything that we want. We only have one thing to ask him, but we're going to call it an episode here. We'll save all the questioning for next episode. So, on the next episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, we're going to be questioning Miles Edgeworth about the DL6 incident, the incident that apparently cost his father his life. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Can't get out. I'm pressing Y. There we go. I needed to be in a place where I could get out. I pressed I pressed Y outside! Get me back in this mech. Get me back in the mech. Please get me back in the mech. I would very much like to get back in this mech. Please? Please? I did not... I did not just waste the mech, did I? I can't get back in it. I parked at the worst spot. Curse me! No! I can't use it!